Hello everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Realistic Farming Channel for Farming Simulator 22 where we use real tractors, we use real equipment, we have realistic tutorials and we have a real lot of fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode number two on Elma, Missouri, the realistic series, the cow empire. Welcome, welcome, welcome in everybody. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And I hope you guys are doing fantastic as usual. Um, left where we, oh, there we go. Where we left off is we finished feeding our cows. We got ready. Today we are going to start mowing our alfalfa and creating some silage bales to feed our cows because we're going to only feed them what we absolutely can. And then we are going to continue on. We got a harvest to do. We got lots of work to do. So let's get into this, get this started up. go let's see if i can go up to high all right so let's head over to the field so i hope you guys are doing well like i said i hope everybody's doing awesome let me turn that volume down on this little tractor is quite quite loud so we're going to do this and Where is the vehicle volume? There it is. Oh, it's already only 50. That's loud. That tractor's loud. Or shall we say mower? But anyway, so how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. As I've asked three times already, we won't ask again, I promise. <laughs> oh boy, it's been raining like crazy here today. Oh, got about three inches of rain total. Let's get this. We're going to get this set up right on the edge of the field. A little bit into it. We're going to lose a little bit of crops, but that's okay. And we want to go to... We don't want to mow at 11. Whoops, wrong button. I don't want to mow at 11. Well, maybe, maybe this thing does mow at 11 find out and we can also do this one a little bit in cab too if you guys want let's go let's get out so i make sure i'm hitting the edge um i'm not quite sure how fast this little four switch goes but maybe it does go 11 not quite sure but uh we're gonna mow it what it tells us to mow it's as slow as i can possibly go anyways I do have it set at like five miles an hour, but it's it's going eleven. <laughs> then we've got next month we've got this corn and we've got already feel the corn ready to go, right at right straight ahead. So what we're gonna do, I think, because we're playing three day months, is we'll get this we'll get this um uh, mowed up this alfalfa today and then we will go down and buy us a harvester let's um let's get this in cab it might be a little bit easier let's do this in here just at least on the first headland can slam our gas and go right around this thing then we'll get our corn starting to harvest um I actually only need the straw from the corn, but we're going to actually just sell it straight away. I don't know which way I like better for this mower. Not quite sure. Mow a little bit of both. Get my mouse turned a little bit. Woo! I'm not used to using this mower with the steer on the back, the, or the wheels. But we're doing well. We are in episode number two already. Can you believe that? Um, happy, happy Hopper Tuesday to you guys all. Hope all is well. We have, I spent the better part of the week um, tedding in real life, and then it rained. So we get to start over. Yay! Um, it's the nature of the beast. It's going to rain again. Uh, it rained saturday well it actually rained friday and saturday 
um, which allows us to start over um, with the tedding process. And we're going to lose quite a bit of nutrients from the grass, but that's all right. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. As you guys know, I that's what I always say. So this is going to be different playing three-day months, but um, it'll be pretty cool. So if it takes us three hours to do uh, one game day, that's nine. It'd be about 27 hours, pretty close to about a real-life game day. Um, so it's pretty cool. It'd be about the same as playing 28 day months. About the same hours at 1x speed, so. Alright. First headland done. Done and dusted. There we go. Now we will raise this up. And we'll go back around and start our second one. Let's, um, yeah. I think what I'm having issues with with this is the steering sensitivity is a little bit crazy because it's this, um, it has the wheels on the back, which I know in a real life it can turn on a dime. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, this will be the plan. We'll get, uh, since we have a field of corn ready, let's see what this looks like in here. A little bit easier. Alfalfa grows quite high. Quite high in real life. Uh, we'll get this mowed up, like I said earlier, and then we'll go over and do our corn. Uh, we'll buy a harvester, bring it home, and we will start harvesting our corn, get that done, and then hopefully, um, if we have enough time well we might actually because we're bailing this for silage maybe um maybe we will um just get this bailed up I forgot i'm using the gear shift mod kind of like the gear shift mod um i may not keep this i may not keep this we may switch this out because i'm not I, I got it because we want to stay under four meters, but I'm not feeling it, if you know what I mean. It's like um, different. I'm not used to it. So I may just buy a side mower to put on the back of this and then a, we can buy a wind rower because this thing was 150000 Yeah, we'll finish this headland, and I think we'll sell this. We'll buy us a the side mower, a K-brand mower, and come up here and keep it right around we want to keep everything under um eight meters or what i say nine meters eight meters whatever i made the rule i have to go back and watch the video um yeah because i'm not feeling this thing here this isn't this isn't working for me i'd rather um do it with either a triple more but i don't i think we're gonna be hard spent to get a triple more onto the tractors because our tractors are 180 horsepower or less so it's going to be hard for us to get a triple mower but we could probably if we've got the pto we could get a front and a side mower and then we would be on our way but i thought this would be a good idea and use it but it really i'm struggling to feel like get it mowed the right way for me We'll just have to buy it. With this thing, when we sell this back, we'll get $150,000 back for it. And we will purchase. We've got our two tractors down at the uh, store already. So. Then we'll bring that back. Already 10 minutes into this thing already. You believe that? Crazy. All right. So, there we go. I think... We have the store deliveries here at the, at the shop. So we'll have to bring our tractors back home. Because that thing, first of all, is loud and I can't, I don't know, it's just weird. I can't get used to it. So we're going to sell that, be about $84,000 back. Almost a hundred grand. Um, yeah, that's 180, 160. 
This is 180. So what can we get? Because the uh, store delivery is at the house. So what can we get that's 180 horsepower with our mowers? What can we do here? We can get this one that's four meters wide. That takes 80. Then the front brand takes 60. That's 140. Um, this is 180 here. If we put a weight on it, we could use this one. Um, what else could we use? We could use one of these, which we are using on the other map, which we don't want to use that. Um, that one only takes 85, and that's 4 meters. Um, 7.3. Let's see. 70. Yeah, we can't do that. Can't do the triple mower. We don't have enough horsepower, but we can do... Uh, this will give us 4.4 and 3. That'll give us 7.3 meters with this and this. Yeah, why don't we do that? And we're going to go all the way down to 6. And then by this one, the K brand. And then we're going to take our 180 horsepower here and head back to the shop. Or to the house. Uh, I'm going to go up. 3, 4, there we go. And do you have any more? There we go. Now we got her. Let's um drive back to the shop like that. I have traffic turned off, guys, so we can just kind of zing out here real quick. There we go. I think I just feel better, like it just feels better to me, more realistic this way. Uh that other mower is super realistic. I did research it, they did make it. I just can't get used to it. Especially since we're going to do a little bit, I've, I made a decision, I think we're going to do a little bit of in-cab and out-of-cab. Now, on the Northern Farms map, we're strictly in-cab. That, that one's ultra-realistic. This one's going to be realistic, um, still still realistic, but we're going to do it in and out of cab. Um, just so we can, like when we're doing bales and stuff, we'll do it out of cab so we can see a little bit better. Um, that gives the best of both worlds for everybody, but I think... I think we'll stay in cab as much as we can within reason. Um, but yeah, so we were doing that. And did you know if you start with this farm on Alma, you start with cows and a, little, a few bales, which is kind of neat. I don't know if those bales back there are usable. I don't think they are, but I didn't even, I just went with the main farm. But 1,600 cows, I think we have to get to. We can't end this series till we get to it, so... What we're going to do, like we explained on episode one, is when they have their calves, uh, and they're going to have 50 calves, uh, we'll sell off the babies and then buy um, 50 new older ones and put them in the second pen. When all three pens have 50 cows in them, then we'll let them build up on their own at that point. So it's going to be a while, so you got to buckle in, gotta grab yourself a sandwich and a drink, and Buckle in and enjoy yourselves because it's going to be a, a, a pretty cool ride. Um, now, like on the rules on the northern farm is we want to make sure that we own the whole map and we go forward like that. And we only have 12 cows on that map and 12 sheep. So that's going to take us a long time as well. I did bump the speed up on the other map. As you guys remember on Sunday's video, I bumped it up to 1x, uh, which was kind of cool because it'll then we can start just going... Um, that way we're still going to stick to about the 30 35 minute videos so that way we can uh get in and get out and do our thing uh that one will have a running clock on it this one may or may not this one may i may play a little bit off camera we'll see how it goes but i'm gonna try to like heck to not so you guys can see every every second of what goes on i think a lot of times the content creators uh, myself included we get caught up in trying to push a series too fast and a lot of people go well wait a minute the last you were here you were bringing cows home and now you own six fields um and a lot of times that people don't realize that we play two or three hours off camera so a lot of things happen um but i think i want to continue to do as much as i can to 
stay within the um now we're gonna shift down because we are in our home all right let's go up to first here and we'll get the front hooked up in the back and we'll continue mowing our there we go a little bit farther and out we go grab the controller Now I gotta raise that a little bit. I do like the gear shift. Whoops. I could have just hooked that up. So I did this on purpose because I wanted to use, you know, everybody has been using like straight up like if they're on american map they use an american equipment i'm using a, uh italian equipment that's what fiat is it's from italy and bang we should go a little bit further back put that in neutral out we go there well actually Put that back in reverse, and whoops, wrong button. Hang on a second. Lost the game sounds, but you didn't lose me. I just want that gone. And why is oh there? Lost everything by turning on course play, and I don't even use it anymore. I might get rid of that mod, to be honest with you, because I don't ever use it. Um, I used to use it, like religiously but now i've gotten to where i don't um get that unfolded just so the front one is done we'll leave the back one in till for now but then we could just kind of mow inside in cab and kind of relax and it'll be fun and we'll get her to go about six seven miles an hour so Speed up a little bit here. We get to the field. Almost 20 minutes in. Gosh, this I love it. I love it. 30 minute. And we already have our baler here, as you can see. We are going to use the Viacom baler, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually a delay. Actually, it is Mark Thor's baler, but we have made it our own. All right. This will give you an idea of how high alfalfa grows. Now, we will have to get a um, wind rower, but that's okay. There, now, we're going to switch back to this piece of equipment, and we're going to unfold her. Get her down. Get a little bit farther forward. This way we don't have to um, pick up our mowers because it won't swath. So we can leave it on that. Um, what else is it going to do? Oh, yeah, I got to go down in. There we go. And seven is good enough. That's what we'll mow at. Well, let's go. Should There you go. There we go. Now we're mowing the way I'm used to. That other was, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that mod. It's absolutely great, but uh, this is what I'm used to. I turned on a, a little bit of the smoke when I first got onto the server, or this, I almost called it a server, onto the game today because um, I wanted to be realistic as I can. So I got it at level two. We could turn it up a little bit more. So I think what we'll do... Let's do this, everyone. Once we get this done and ready to go, and we get our other field harvested and ready to go, let's plow this in and just plant grass. Um, 
we'll get our silage from our alfalfa first, um, and then we'll plow it in. We'll subsoil it in or cultivate it in, whatever we can afford with our 180 horsepower tractor that we have here. And we will um, we'll make it grass. We'll just turn it into grass. It's an awful sharp corner there. There. <laughs> All right. So we're about 20 minutes in. So let's get our trivia out of the way so we can get that done and get you guys answering your trivia. Uh, we didn't have, well, I will go back and give out the shout outs when we can and um, for the last video because I forgot to look who answered the trivia question last um, but this trivia is going to be on the Fiat tractor what was the first year and make of the very first Fiat tractor that came out what was it what was it guys so and ready and go do 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 and your final answer go all right there these are pretty squared off um fields now technically we could go the other way and go back and forth with this because you had the front mower but what will happen is you'll miss um, unless you offset your GPS, which these tractors don't have and all that stuff. So they continue. But we're covering 7.3 meters wide, which is pretty cool for 180 horsepower. That's not bad. Gives me a chance to kind of see what's going on. And then we will get this into grass so we don't feed our... Um, I don't want to feed too much alfalfa because alfalfa for us is... A commodity around here it's quite expensive um, even though it's cheap to grow and it continues to grow back for us we don't use it as much um, we supplement with um, we supplement with corn and soybeans to get their proper stuff that they need I love how the gear shifters work on this now, pretty soon, we're going to just be able to go around and turn around. We won't have to back up. There. Now, this will not mow this into windrows. I mean, the first will be in a windrow, as you can see. It'll be one, but we're going to have to come in and windrow this, which is fine. We, I think we can get the 8.4 meter windrower. And then we'll do that. We'll do that next episode since we're already... 23 wow it took us over three minutes to go around the field once that's awesome it's nice relaxing it took me i think when i tetted uh our field in real life it was 80 acres it took me about just shy of four days to get out get the field mowed and tetted the first time of course then it rained we missed some there guarantee we missed some yep all right so we got to get this situated here here we go we got this we're going there now that we're on the fourth headland we can pretty much make the swing if we want we can make us full circle and not have to turn around at all just kind of go around in a circle when we get to the ends yep which is going to do this come across Let's turn this around and it just about lines up perfect there we go look at that it's almost like i've done it before <laughs> Um, 
but we're doing well. Everything's going well. It's been long days as usual. We're um, we're still going though. We're still kicking it. Um, still making our rounds. Uh, I think I've got to finish. I got a Ted again. We let it sit because it rained. Oh, like I said, it rained all day Friday and half of the day Saturday. Um, like I said in the beginning video, we got about three inches of rain and then we let it sit all of Mother's Day. And for all of you uh, mothers out there, happy belated late Mother's Day. Um, there we go. Um, and then I let it sit all day Monday and all day today. Um, and then I'm going to go um, out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and start tedding again. I'm going to flip it over again. It's supposed to be 70 here tomorrow and sunny. So take care of that. Um, that'll, And then we'll bail it up. And then probably by the end of the week, we will then... Uh, we've got already got our soybeans in the ground. We've got our corn in the ground. We've got um, the, these two fields to finish up. And then I've got one more field that I have to cultivate, fertilize, and plant and get that ready to go. And then we'll be into a little bit of a slow time at that point, uh, depending on what we've got going on after that, which we don't. But I, we usually take the time, once we get all our fields prepped and everything, we take the time in real life to um, fix our tractors and um, do that stuff. And I know the 4640... Uh, I got to take the plow mount off of it because now we don't need it anymore. We're into spring and summer. Um, that's the one I plow plow my driveway with. I plow the the yard with. And we don't need it anymore, so we're gonna have to take the plow mount off that. Uh, I've got two brand new front tires ordered for it. Got to change them out. But I'm hoping within the next month, by the end of pretty much middle to end of June, um, we should be into a slower period. Um, probably a couple weeks um, but then again by June or July we're gonna be mowing again um, we'll get our second cut in about well we're mow we're finished mowing already right now I've just got to finish tedding and then bailing and then the the first two pastures were done two weeks ago beginning of May so probably about first week of july i'll get a little lull for a couple of weeks guys and then i'll be able to pump out some videos for you guys um but then it's july we're right back into mowing again for the second cut and then we will be let's see july august september probably around october or so um our corn will come due and then we'll be uh we'll be harvesting corn and then we'll harvest our soybeans. We'll come due pretty close to October, November. So that'll be done. And then we'll get our third and final cut of the um, grass for the year. And then we're into seven-day-a-week videos here again, which is pretty much my life anymore. Summer, I'm nonstop. Winter, I'm with you guys. <laughs> so it's, it's nonstop, and it's pretty fun at the same token. I love it. I love my life, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Sometimes... We all have the habit of complaining and and moaning a little bit. I mean, me included. You know, when it's pouring rain and you've already mowed once and tetted twice, getting ready to bail, and then it rains, you, you tend to curse a little bit. Um, but you realize that it is nature of the beast, and it happens when it happens. It happens for a reason. So, but that's neither here nor there. So that's what I'm hoping is probably another month or so i'll be able to either bump up the time on the videos um or i will start to put out a few more but anyways on the on the in-game notice we just hit our 29 mark 29 minute mark so you guys know how it works we're going to say our goodbyes as we continue to mow and then we will wrap this bad boy up so as usual please 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 look out for yourselves look out for each other and most importantly look out for each other's families be sure to like and subscribe and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding, bell. So you get notified when Fury drops a video, 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 video. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you are watching this. And remember, I love, love, love you all. And we will be right back here with on Thursday with another episode of the Northern Farms. So stay tuned. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for the next at least month. And then I'm hoping, like I told you guys, to get a little bit of a break. Um, and then put out 
you know, pump out some videos and or make them longer, one of the two. Um, but I'll keep, I always keep you guys posted. And let me get turned here and we will shut everything down. Look at that. We did about five headlands and we've got three days to finish doing what we need to do each time. So I'm going to shut this down. There we go. You can see it. You don't really, it's like the grass textures on this. Well, this isn't grass anyways. This is alfalfa. Um, isn't very really good, but we may keep it alfalfa. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much yield we get out of it. And on that note, guys, I love you guys all to death. You guys know that. And thank you for watching all my videos and continue to tune in. Um, tell a friend, tell a family member, because the more people that watch, the more videos I can put out. And on that note, guys, have a great one. I'll see you right back on Northern Farms on Thursday.